Hey, and welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix, where we discuss things all music technology, software and hardware, recording gear, studio gear, instruments, and more. If you love that sort of thing, then you're going to love the Emlyn in the Mix podcast. Now, let's get on with the show with your host, yours truly, Emlyn. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season four, episode 10. I'm super duper happy to be back with you guys because we have got an amazing, exciting week for you guys. I know, I'm seeming ultra hyper, but we've got some cool stuff going on because we've got a giveaway and that's what this podcast is essentially going to be covering the thing that you could be winning, which is Emergent Drums by Audia Lab, which is our feature today. If you want to just check out Emergent Drums, the AI sampled back playback drum machine or sampled sounds, I don't know what you want to call it because it's artificial intelligence going and getting these sounds for you, never before heard sounds, you can hit the timeline down below and skip along to that part where we just go and play with Emergent Drums. I'm going to have a bit of fun with it here today and just show you what it can do and how to use it. So two lucky winners, actually, we're two winners. We're not having third, we're not having second or first place, we're just having two winners. So make sure to enter, the link will be down below. But we've got an amazing podcast for you guys today. What is this podcast about? Of course, you would know it's about music technology, music gear, software and hardware, you name it, we cover it. The latest, the zeitgeistiest music technology news there is. I mean, we're up to date, more or less, is what I'm trying to say. And... We'll have affiliate links down below when affiliate links are necessary to be mentioned. I will do that. But without further ado, let's just get stuck into what's been happening this last week because even though it was probably a bit quieter than the week before, there's still a lot of releases hardware and software wise that are just occurring on a week to week basis. That's why this podcast exists because there's actually so much to talk about on a week to week basis. I try to Find and curate the best news for you guys. All right, let's get stuck into it. Aturia has a free update. Now, this is for V Collection 9 owners. So, if you don't have V Collection 9, then I apologize. But maybe you could look at getting or upgrading to this amazing collection of instruments from Aturia because they're now offering, like, on a regular basis, these little free updates. And they're not just little, like I've seen a couple of these since owning the V Collection 9 and they've been quite major sort of additions to their already incredible software. If we scroll down here and have a look, so they've now got NKS VST3 support. So if you have one of those controllers, the complete uh, NKS controllers, then you've now got VST3 support and that's on all of the V Collections instruments. Uh, they've also got Apple M1, which would sort of doesn't seem too surprising now that M1 chips nearly coming up to two years. And AAX support for Pro Tools. And this is a new one, which is called MIDI Polyphonic Expression. So they've got additional MP support for the CZV and the CMIV, which now feature MP support. Resizable GUIs. They've got additional micro tuning support for the CZV, CMIV, Booklet, Easel, V, and the Synth IV and multiple performance fixes. So, I mean, look, there's some pretty cool additions and this is a free update for those who own V Collection 9. I think for me, the most exciting thing would have to be the MIDI polyphonic expression. I mean, that is very cool that they're now adding this you know, support. And I guess most software instruments should be getting into this by now. I don't know if it's a coding or a technically hard thing to implement into existing software instruments, but it's cool to see, definitely. All right, let's move along to the next release that came out this last week. Shreddage has released three tallows. So it is a guitar instrument and for decades the telecaster has been a staple of rock blues country jazz funk and more and now shreddage 3 tellers brings that celebrated sound to your productions now this is from impact soundworks by the way who make some incredible uh instruments and uh, definitely check them out if you haven't already like my favorite thing that they do is the super audio cart which is just basically a collection of not just nintendo but just every amazing 8-bit and 16-bit old-school video game machine 
into one instrument. So if you like all those sounds, like for me, it's a lot of nostalgia, but if you like all those sounds, they make it impact Soundworks. Anyway, Shredded 3 is one of their, it's a different instrument, which is a guitar instrument. It sounds unbelievably realistic, especially if you, ha if you have one of those like MIDI polyphonic expression controllers that we're just speaking about before. For example, like the Seaboard or something like that, because the thing is with a stringed instrument, you, it is a different way of playing rather than pressing down a key, you know, with an on-off, uh, you know, like your typical keyboard MIDI controller. There is a different style of expression when you're playing a stringed instrument, especially guitar. Shredded th 3 can sound unbelievably realistic if you have the right MIDI controller is where I was going with that super, super long, drawn out sentence there. Anyway, this is what this is what this podcast is about. Me to just let you know what is going on, of course. So anyway, we meticulously, this has come from Impact Soundway, recorded every detail of the rock and roll legend to capture its huge diversity of sound from mellow to aggressive suitably for nearly any style of music. If you choose just one virtual guitar, make it the Talos. So that's what they're saying here. It's $159. It is an, it's a full instrument. Okay. So you're getting a Telecaster basically in your computer. Just have a listen here. We'll give you an audio demo just so you understand how realistic this thing sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I think my case is stated there that is insane like how is that a software instrument tell me how that is a software instrument it sounds so real so that's what i'm saying you have to have the correct midi controller and you have to have someone who can obviously play it like to get that out of it but my goodness does that sound real so you're getting twenty four thousand pristine 24-bit samples, next-generation virtual guitar engine, six-string electric guitar, all crucial articulations. So you could hear like it had mutes and stops and all sorts of cool little articulations going. Realistic performance through meticulous sampling, 40 on production, radio tone snapshots. Look, you name it, it's got the works. Impact Soundworks, they will not let you down. When they put an instrument together, they do an amazing job. And this is no exception. Check it out, Talos for shreddage three or shreddage three Talos. All right, next piece of news here. UAD has actually some 50% off deals. Now, no affiliate link, no kickback for me mentioning this. I just thought it was worth a mention. We occasionally mention Universal Audio only when they sort of really drop their prices. Now, I did mention a couple of weeks or even three weeks ago now, most of the sort of bigger software companies and even smaller ones alike are having sales at the moment. I think it maybe has something to either do with, is it the end of the financial year or no financial year? I know for at least for where I live and in the US is halfway through the year, but for some places like Japan, I think they've already completed their cycle and their financial year. I'm, I'm looking up here, looking for the date. It is March. So of course, but Anyway, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think just right now in the world in general, there is a, like a little bit of a depression in the economy. So a lot of these companies are working to get sales, get revenue. And one of the ways to do that is to have a sale. And this one's definitely worth mentioning. Again, don't take any economical advice from your boy, Emlyn, because I'm not going to be able to help you out. This is not an economic... This is, you haven't come here to learn about finances. Let's be real, guys. You are here because you want to know about the latest in music gear, okay? Let's keep it, let's keep it real here, guys. Come on. All right, so 50% off Universal Audio's software, which are already exorbitantly expensive, but 
they're amazing. I, I don't know what to say. Look, they're in. They're the top. They have the best sounding emulation. Even my v- smooth, and I've said this so many times. You're an old time podcast listener of mine. You must be so annoyed by this statement I make. But even my smooth, smooth vocals are going through a Neve emulation, which just I don't know what it is. It just sounds really freaking good. And that's what they do. Universal Audio make fantastic emulations. So right now, like it's only a selected different various softwares that they've done at 50% off. But look, I mean, Distressor, you got the Avalon, the VT Tube channel strip here, 50% off. I mean, these are huge savings. Yeah, sure. They're not cheap, but you are getting exactly what you want and very, very meticulously emulated piece of software from hardware form. Like if you want, for example, the SSL 4000 G bus, an amazing sounding channel strip compressor collection, it's 149 bucks now, it's 50% off. I mean, that is just fantastic, okay? All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to go on too much longer with that sale, but that sale is there. It exists. Check it out if it interests you. Another sort of partner deal that's going on. Now this one will have an affiliate link for down below. So if you're interested in this, and we'll play back some something here for you. So there's a partner sale going on at Native Instruments. Well, they always seem to be having one, but they sort of showcase or highlight different partners. And at the moment, there is one going for Heaviosity, uh, which you can purchase through the Native Instruments website. And I definitely want to do. I want to do a video on some of this software because, wow, I've got some of these instruments and they are incredible. I actually did a little short on one of them this week. My goodness, very interesting. So the one I want to show you here today though is the Avant Modern Keys. I need to get my hands on that damaged drum kit too because that looks amazing. These are new by the way. But the Avant Modern Keys sounds really good and there's a partner sale going. You can click the link down below if you're interested in any of the Heaviosity instruments which is through Native Instruments. Click the link down below if you want to get this instrument. You'll be supporting the channel. There are other ways to support it of course. You don't have to do this but this is a nice way of supporting the channel because you get yourself something you want and you support the channel. It's amazing. It's a win-win for everyone. Anyway, Avant Modern Keys, let's have a listen to this, this little demo here. Damn, that's beautiful. I just, I feel like I'm sipping coffee, I'm in a cafe. Wow, some great players on these demos today. Well done to whoever played that demo, beautiful. Beautiful example of Avant Modern Keys. Anyway, these are all on sale at the moment through the partner products on the Native Instruments website. I feel it linked down below, you can click that, go out and get yourself some Heaviosity. They've also got other partner deals here, Monolith, synth we looked at that last week we had a quick play with the demo there but i will do i want to do an overview of some of these instruments probably i don't know maybe next week's podcast we'll do or we'll just do some standalone videos because they're just amazing these instruments all right big brand new release here and wow what a bit of a i gotta say it's kind of a slap in the face for the the boys at d16 group because roland d16 group make the fison 2 which is a tb303 um probably the best software emulation i have ever heard of the tb303 and which is fison 2 by d16 group amazing i did a video on it if you want to check it out after this go ahead go to the youtube channel emlin in the mix hashtag subscribe boom uh and click on Fison 2, I'll search for Fison 2. It'll be in my list of thousands of videos that I have there. Anyway, TB303, total 303 has been dropped. Yet yeah, Roland must have been like, you know what? We're going to have our own software version of this. We can't have other people emulating our 
software. Now, Roland being the big Japanese company that they are, do not support your little boy here, Emlyn in the mix, um, the little podcast here. That, so I don't get to check out whenever they do something new. No, they're not. They're not, they're not listening or, or even talking remotely. In fact, I, I mean, I've heard it on the grapevine. I don't know if this is true, but the way you know, with Japanese culture, is very conservative, and their business is quite conservative, and. I think they treat like YouTubers like they're just sort of like nothing or even podcasters like just that's not, you know, that's not how we do business. So I'm not sure. If I can get in with Roland, I would be very happy because they've got some amazing products. I know you've probably heard me whinge about this before, but we do need to get Roland products here on the channel. Anyway, I digress. We're going to still show the TB303 total 303. If you don't know what a TB303 is by now, you must have been living under a rock. I mean, this thing's 40 years old. It's ancient. It came out originally just to be a automated bass player for bands. I don't know why. That. It seems weird. Why would you need a bass player? I mean, they're not the hardest. Are they hard, hard to find bass players? Anyway, I guess maybe it was with the idea of like a karaoke style thing I actually need to learn what the original idea of having a tb303 was like what was the original purpose they were trying to achieve in that space because it seems weird to me anyway so what happened was they got this machine and or people got this machine back in the early mid 80s or whatever when this thing released and they were like, holy hell, this thing has this incredible filter on it. It sounds so cool. And this is like totally not what the, the machine was designed for. And then literally genres were born out of this machine, like techno, you name it, acid house. It all came together and, you know, into the 90s and so forth. It's just, it's, it's a heritage machine. Anyway, have a listen to this so you'll understand when you hear this little demo here. Total So if you want to have the authentic Roland branded TB303, then this would be the way to do it there. You're getting the original, the, the boys who made it. And uh, no doubt they've done a great emulation. They've added some cool little features here. You can like open it up here, sort of get into your sequence. And I mean, I, I love this instrument. Like I just recall the early days of Reason, uh, not Reason, it was before it was called Reason. Was it Reason? Anyway, the early days of whatever Reason was called, that was my first actual sort of like digital audio workstation or door. And I just have a nostalgic awesome memory of this instrument and making squelching acid techno with this instrument in software form of course i didn't have the hardware versions a little bit before my time but anyway this it just it is a staple in especially in house and techno and dance music check it out roland have dropped their version of tb33 and it's going to be authentic you're gonna have the authentic thing here and it's a part of roland cloud so oh man i'm tempted to go on roland cloud it is their subscription based service it's getting more and more, when they add products like this, it makes it more and more desirable. So I'll be probably checking this out a little bit more. Anyway, let's move along. All right, Rain have released this just most incredible piece of DJ hardware. Now, I don't know exactly when this got released because I'm not on the Rain sort of like radar, I guess you could say, or well, I'm just not on their email list. But I dare say it's in the last week or so, and correct me if I'm wrong, put a comment down below. Emlyn, this came out two years ago. What the hell are you talking about? No, it couldn't have. It couldn't have. I'm pretty, as I said at the start of this podcast, I'm up to speed here on what's happening. 
Anyway, what is the rain for you, asked? Well, last year we spoke about Serato dropping. It was pretty big news. And it's sort of, I felt like this really big piece of DJ news just sort of just disappeared, like under, just went without uh, anything. Like without, it was just totally underrated. It's huge. It's basically you can strip tracks live so like you you could be djing a track that has you know vocal in it it's got drums got some you know percussion it's got your melody guitar or whatever a synth line and you can literally strip out sections of that song on the fly that's the part that's amazing there's no processing time i don't know how it does it must analyze the track as it's loading it but you literally with the press of a button boom you're now just listening to the acapella of that song all of a sudden and then you can just drop some drums on the other track so you're totally mixing and really remixing songs on the fly literally now i don't know how the whole i'm not familiar with serato and maybe i'll have to get in serato to learn about it because this is very desirable for me as well because i want to enjoy doing remixing on the fly i think that's just the idea and concept of that's really cool i just wonder how because i'm not a serato user and if you are a serato user and you're watching this or listening you can leave a comment down below but i just wonder how You'd have to have your tempos on both tracks exact before you hit the acapella or turned your other song into an acapella. Because if you get, I know from experience, if you have the acapella, any instrumental tempo wrong, I mean, in general, if you just have your two tracks tempos out, it's going to sound terrible, terrible, right? But especially if you have an acapella and you have a track going. And also you want to have your keys and stuff all in key because otherwise it's going to sound horrible. Anyway, you, I digress. You understand what I'm saying. But this thing just looks like an absolute beast. So you can focus on your performance, not your laptop. It's all, you know, visual visual cues there. You got your little LED button, creative pads, creative performance effects, which are those little four knobs down the bottom there, which seems to be a staple now in most, you know, sort of professional DJ hardware. There's a cool little demo here of this dude uh, DJing. And yeah, it just looks really cool. Here, we'll play this video back. If you are watching us on Spotify, YouTube, you can watch this video. It's pretty nice. Here we go. It's only 30 seconds. Bit of rain for action. I've been waiting all the man. I know that the time sounds I'm taking with my your mind, your mind. Ready for you and I. So yeah, anyway, that is the four channel amazing performance there, possibility performances that you could do with the Rain 4. It honestly looks like a lot of fun. That demo did, didn't really show you the stripping of, you know, vocals and, you know, messing around. There's another video here on this actual page that you can watch that actually shows that a little bit more in depth. But yeah, this looks honestly like a lot of fun. If you're into DJing and you want to check that out, definitely you should suss this out because this is... In my opinion, this is like sort of like the next level of DJing. This is like a kind of like a jump from, I don't know, as an analogy, the Apple Intel chip to the M1 chip. Like that's the sort of level of jump we're going here with DJing. It, and it, it is a cool technology, but whether people are going to harness it correctly, that's the part I want to see because obviously it's this amazing technology. And if you understand DJing and you can harness this really well, it is a lot of fun. Anyway. I digress. Let's move along now. So here we are. We've got our main feature and it is Emergent Drums. Now you can win Emergent Drums. I'll have the link down below, but we're going to have a play with it here today just to show you what it can do. Each piece of software, two lucky winners actually, each piece of software is going to be voted at $149. Now apparently there's a brand new update on the way for Emergent Drums, Emergent Drums 2.0, which has huge huge brand new updated features and if you actually get emergent drums before the 2.0 release is released which is going to be a hundred dollars more apparently it's going to be 249 dollars when they release 2.0 but if you get version one now you get a free update now what's entailed in version two i don't have i don't have those details here unfortunately with me i'm just going to be showing you version one today so hopefully it doesn't date this video or this podcast too much but you will get the general idea of what emergent drums is
So it is, what is it? It's AI powered sound design. Yes, sounds scary, but it's true. It's artificial intelligence finding sounds for you. Now, this is the part where I get a little bit confused, I guess you could say, because it's not, it is sort of, you know, emulating a sampled instrument because it's going and playing back across these 16 pads, these sample instruments. But are they really sampled or are they artificially intelligent algorithmic generated sounds so i'm just going to call it sounds from here on out because i don't know if they're actually samples anyway emergent drums is a new music plugin that uses state-of-the-art artificial intelligence to generate novel drum it says novel drum samples novel being new for those of you who don't know and every sample is created from scratch their ai is trained on a wide variety of sounds and can generate completely unique drum samples no source recordings are used to generate sounds so each sample is truly original and you can create without limits generate as many sounds as you want and use them however you like sounds you create are yours to use royalty free so that's pretty cool so it, look it's it is a pretty basic uh instrument that i'm going to be showing you here but it is cool and this could be yours and it's very interesting and i'm going to show you some sort of interesting ways in which you can use it okay all right so here we are in our live demo with emergent drums freaking very simple very easy to sort of understand i'm going to show you some cool ways in which you can use this today so here we have emergent drums now it's just got a very simple it's just generated these are all never before heard sounds apparently that it's generated on its own so let's have a listen here kick snare a different kind of snare some of it now look i'm gonna be honest some of the sounds can be trippy that it generates random that's another random another random percussion snare and i think we've got symbols another symbol open hi-hat that hi-hat sounds good i like that that sounds pretty cool now if, so let's say you heard all those sounds you're like those sounds are terrible okay easy so we've got this regenerate button here i'm just going to put this up so you can see it a bit better Click regenerate, it's going to ask you, do you want to regenerate all these samples? You press OK, give it a bit of time. The AI is searching. The AI is now like, oh, it doesn't like it. Let me see what else I can find. Whoa, okay, so now we're getting some. Again, some sounds in there are pretty inspiring. Some sounds are not great, and then some sounds are just like, wow, what's that? Like, where was it? That's pretty interesting. What is that? It's random. I actually like that closed hi-hat. All right, so then let's say you you like most of the sounds, but you want to regenerate at least one of the sounds. Like this kick? No. What is that? Come on, AI. You can do a better job. There we go. All right, so that's not a bad kick. It could use a little bit more decay. So you do have your ADSR here as well. So you can change your attack, your release, your velocity filter. So it has it does have that, which is nice. It's got left and right. And you can also change the pitch here so you can have it and just get, get your pitch where you want it, right? I don't really like that kick either. Let's generate a new one. So it's going to go through. It's going to have a look. Nah, that's too too much like a tom. That's pretty cool. Let me just take the... Oh, I like that clap too. That's a really nice clap. All right, so you can see it's a lot of fun. And also what's great about this, so the AI generates that. Now you can just drag and drop. Say you love that sample so much. There you go. I got it there, it's it's dragged out. And even if we look at it in Ableton Live, it's the exact sample, even with the filter applied, which is pretty bonkers. Look, here we go, it's gonna play back. How crazy is that? Now, you might be thinking, mm, okay, cool, I don't really wanna play it myself. Now, this is, this is gonna be, I'm gonna just do something here, which I don't know if you guys have, but I've got a, an amazing sequencer, which we need to do another video on as well called strokes which is just a fantastic sequencer and today i'm going to just show you on the podcast we're going to load a strokes in here by john house i think it is amazing stuff we do need to do a video on this a standalone because it 
The only reason I haven't done a video on strokes yet is because it's quite deep and I want, just want to make sure I fully grasp this amazing piece of software. So here's strokes. Okay, so it's just a, it's a sequencer. So if we press stop on our door, it's going to stop. So what I was playing with, and hopefully my camera doesn't go crazy here, but like let's say I love this kick, right? Where is that kick? We love this kick. Let's drag this sample onto the desktop, okay? I mean, you can have a folder somewhere. And then let's go to John Houser's Strokes or just Strokes. I don't know why I'm saying his full name. Anyway, the amazing coding creator here has created this incredible piece of software. All right, so now I've got that sample loaded in Strokes. And if we have a look here, uh, I can just, essentially, I can just put it in my sequencer like so. And now with that sample loaded, it's gonna play back when I press play on the door. Here we go. There we go. Easy done, right? All right, and then we liked, which one was it, this? <laughs> That's cool. I, can, I wonder if I could record that in there. Anyway, we're not here to show you strokes today, but I guess we kind of are. But if we go back to Emergent Drums and we go, oh, I love this clap here. So literally, let's just go grab. It's a really nice sounding clap. And it's gonna drag and drop. I hope Ecamm survives this. Please don't die, Ecamm. Okay, good. Jump over to samples. All right, cool. So now I've loaded my clap that I really liked into the strokes. Jump back to strokes. Um, I think it's on that or is it on that? Let's have a look. Where would the clap be? Let's have a listen. Nah, it's there, isn't it? It's, there we go. And this is using the AI. I've just used strokes as a sequencer. I mean, you can have so much fun with emergent drums. What else we got? Anyway, I won't show I won't show you that all today because I'm having a bit of trouble with my software, unfortunately, screen recorder. But yeah, you guys can win this. You can win Emergent Drums. Click the link down below. I have a link for Emergent Drums. Two lucky winners. You're gonna win this. I won't. This doesn't include Strokes. Strokes is a different piece of software. I just wanted to show you how much fun you can have with this. And that pretty much what I've shown you is pretty much it. Like the only thing it's, I didn't show you was that you can actually just drag all the samples into the door. You can just click and hold this, which will give you all 16 samples from the 16 pads. Uh, but just simple and fun. Uh, it's a very fun plugin to just sort of get inspiration and just get new uh, and unheard sounds before. And I've even heard people that own this just like deleting all their drum samples, which I probably personally I wouldn't do. But I mean, look, it's interesting at least. So two lucky winners click the link down below if you want to be a part of it and thank you so much for joining me today what did you think of season four episode 10 of the emlin in the mix podcast am i going to be able to do this i'm worried because usually i go back to the screen yeah it's going to trip balls but let me know what you thought about aturia today do you like the idea of getting free updates? Who doesn't? I mean, with version 9, you're going to be checking out Shreddage 3, Talos, Universal Audio, up to 50% off, amazing deals. Check out the Heaviosity Instruments by Native Instruments. I'm going to put my hand like that, make it go real weird. And the TB303, is that something that interests you? By Roland, the baseline there, Rain 4, my goodness. Check that out, an amazing DJ piece of hardware. Or do you want to win Emergent Drums? Or you want to get Emergent Drums? I mean, click the link below. You've got nothing to lose. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the podcast. We'll be back next week. Until then, peace out. Boom. Oh, I love it. All right, cheers. Bye. Hey. Thanks for listening to the Emlyn In The Mix podcast. Here, you will find all the latest in music technology, software and hardware, interviews and more. Also, don't forget to check out the Emlyn In The Mix YouTube channel today. Till next time, keep it real.